morning everybody today is day one of deload slash recovery slash refresh week so the plan today is kids are away at school i'm gonna hop on the treadmill and just do a nice moderate walk while i probably watch some netflix um, i wish i could be outside in the sunshine but this is what it looks and sounds like outside right now kind of kind of excited about where where this moment is or a moment in time is hitting because we just set the clocks back this past weekend and as everybody who does that knows it just sucks like uh especially it, it just sucks so the kids are all disoriented and confused when it's dark out and I'm walking in their rooms to wake them up so it's always about a week of trying to get our bodies back on track so this week could not have come at a better time <laughs> guess who couldn't get out of bed before the kids this morning It's another great day for a nice relaxing walk on the treadmill um, I'm really enjoying this mellow week in fact it has helped me tremendously with my nutrition I find my appetite is not nearly as high as it is when I'm I'm going pretty hardcore so it's something I'm definitely considering and thinking about. finding AX1 holds a special place in my heart. I, I, I really love it. Uh, I can see if you're looking for intense heavy weights, you're not going to get it in AX1, maybe a little bit here and there. It, AX1 focuses a lot on, you know, you're building your foundation to work your way up to that heavy lifting. But on top of it, a lot of athleticism. Um, this is probably one of my favorite programs, the way it works lower half. Just because your, as he says in the, the, the demo video, it's ground-based movement. It's athletic movement. It's, it's not just heavy weightlifting. And it, the benefits to that are just... They're, they're awesome. It's almost total body, but it also really focuses on balance, I, I realize. So I, I'm just, I have a fondness for this, this program. Um, and it's definitely been a very nice change of pace. I've Hey guys, so the other thing 
um, this week has taught me or kind of proven to me. I took all that extra time I've discovered and from working out and I've put that focus on my nutrition and it's paid off tremendously already. I am in full ketosis uh, and my, my, my appetite has diminished significantly. Mind you, I, I, I believe that has two, two main reasons. One being it's just the right, that falls in the right time of the month for me. Obviously female hormones majorly play a role on appetite and water retention and all of that. But second thing, um, the extensive exercise, the really, really intense exercise does increase my appetite. Obviously you need to feed your body when you're working that hard. Uh, but I feel like I've been working very, very hard in my training and physically for quite a while that I'm taking what I'm learning this week, which is slowing down, focusing on my nutrition, and I'm moving forward with that. So the plan is to continue with keto for a little while. I am not one of those people that thinks it's a lifestyle change, I just don't. The game plan for Old School Iron, I do intend to return to Old School Iron, but to change my approach to it, where I had doubled up those circuits, those groups of A's, groups of B's, and uh, groups of A's only actually, and I was doing those twice. I was getting six intense lifting workouts done in the span of generally a week. Sometimes it was eight, eight days, maybe nine. Um, I've decided to change that. I've decided to uh, almost take on the AX1 uh, schedule, and those B workouts will be sandwiched with rest days, and so one week will can just consist of the the group the i think i'm moving on to b's so one b two b three b uh, and it'll be three workout uh, strength training workouts in a week and then uh if i choose to do some cardio whether what whatever i go whichever direction i go with that it'll i'm really going to experiment and see. As I said, right now I'm really enjoying mentally and physically how I'm feeling with the nutrition side of this and continuing to slow down the training and focus on the nutrition is the, the plan for the, the near future. I will say I can also see me sprinkling in weeks of AX1 as breaks from old school iron too. literally running down here doing some of my workout going back upstairs because my kids are sitting at the table eating their lunch <sighs> to every mother out there you can only sneak away for so long <laughs> because if you hide they will find you
starfish crunches have vastly improved since my first go around with this program. Hey guys, that's a wrap on week two of AX1 um, strength training workouts. I did my own um, cardio or burst training. Uh, back to old school iron next week. I definitely enjoyed this week. I, uh, truth be told, I learned a lot, a lot this past week nutritionally just by experimenting with myself. I'm definitely taking that information, that observation, and going forward with OSI. But based on what I learned this week, dialing back the, uh, the amount of working out I'm getting in in one week and it definitely giving myself plenty of time for recouping and just slowing it down a bit. I, yesterday I got outside, it was gorgeous. I, I laughed hysterically when I was looking at my video. <laughs> the weather I showed you one day to yesterday doing my sprints outside. <laughs> That's Illinois for you. We, we can get about 12 different weather patterns in like the span of a week. I will see you next week. I decided I'm not going to repeat that that A group, that 3A group that was last week. I'm heading into the B group. Hope everybody's still sticking with it. And, you know, if you feel the need to just take a, be a, a step back, do it. That was the greatest decision I made. I'm feeling just fabulous. So I hope everybody else is too. See you next week.